Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the lasagna bin. First, we're going to do a little bit of harvesting of worms, and then we're going to jump right into it. Alrighty, uh, if you remember, when I went on vacation, we put a worm trap in these castings to see if I could uh, catch some worms. So let me get a little tray and let's see what we've caught. All right, so let's see what we caught. It's kind of anticlimactic. Probably has been too long to have grabbed a great cluster of worms like I was hoping for. But we can do a little light harvest on this and pick the worms out. Let's see if they went running around or if they just never left. Well, darn it. Looks like they just never left. That's not helpful. Well, as I say, worms do what they want. They never they never did actually leave their castings. Must still be some good stuff in there for them to completely ignore my attempts to lure them out. Piece of corn cob there. So this was formerly the mushroom bin and uh, I really thought that they would be ready to just jump right out and get involved. Alright, well, better luck next time. Maybe I can get a worm ball from someplace else. Gave them a good feeding last time. There should be a handful of worms that we can get. Plan doesn't work. Get a new plan, right? Okay, let's see. Feel some squishiness here. Looks like they're doing good on the kiwi there. I think AV was questioning whether or not kiwis were okay for worms and we eat a lot of kiwis in my house and and so yeah kiwis are fine never have any problems with kiwis and I realize that I'm screwing up my own worm ball in a future blue video but I do feel as though I need more worms in my lasagna bin and this one definitely has enough to donate so oh, apples doing good there and so we only found about a half a pound of worms that were easy to get but oops wait wait but wait there's more and for all of my bins that are the mixed worms they really are interchangeable I just uh, grab a handful here, throw a handful back in there when I'm changing over the bins. So I'll cover these guys back up. We're not due to look at them for another week. I'm willing to bet we will still have a nice worm ball. Alright, back to the original plan. Okay, let's start our check in on the lasagna bin. Alright, so back to the lasagna bin. I'm going to take off the layers, top layers, see what we've got. It's been about a month since I've looked in on this and uh, seeing some mold. I uh, put some of those egg carton things in here. Got some roly polies. Looks like they're cleaning the tape off of the cardboard here, which is, you know, nice of them. Alright, well, this lasagna bin uh, was started, you know, four or five months ago, and uh, the whole principle of the lasagna bin was to uh, do like a breeding experiment, because I thought that layers, layers of cardboard would be good for breeding. Uh, it didn't actually, you know, I don't think it's panned out that it's a better breeding system, um, but it is a super easy way in order to do a worm bin. If you don't have a shredder, 
or um, or you're lazy. You know, that's an option. Um, or you just don't want to fuss with it because shredders take power and, you know. Some of what we do here is for the environment. And uh, so uh, it is very, very easy and the worms like it. Uh, I always have lots of worms in here. You can see there's a cocoon right there where my finger is next to the dead roly-poly. I guess it's going to die sometime, I suppose. Um, but yeah, you can see the apple seeds are all that's left of the apple. Uh, it is 67 degrees down here in the basement, so the blue worms are going to start slowing down quite a bit. This is the mix of the red worms, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers, you know, like the Uncle Jim's mix. And these guys do great year round. They, um, you know, the blue worms are rock stars during the summer, and then the European night crawlers and the red worms don't seem to care about the uh, the lower temperatures in my in my basement in the winter time. They keep on going while the uh, blue worms are napping. Um, let's keep peeling back the peeling back the layers of the lasagna here. Um, even though this didn't pan out as a good breeding experiment, I do keep it running um, just because it's an interesting experiment, you know, for people who, you know, might not want to bother with shredding. Um, it's also, you know, it, it does have really good ventilation in between the sheets of cardboard, which sometimes in the wintertime I'm going to have to keep closer eye on it. It does get dry pretty fast if I don't keep on top of it with, with food and and stuff, but I always think it's cool to see them crawling back and forth like that. But you can tell they are making castings, and didn't look back at the last feeding, but I know one of their major feedings was apple goo. But you can see what happens when the cardboard kind of gives up its entire structure and it just turns into castings in the bottom. Um, and we just leave that and keep stacking new layers on top. I was going to try and see if there's any food at all in here. Good different, you know, size of worms. You've got the baby worms and the adult worms. Saw some cocoons in here. Uh, now that it's winter and the, you know, all the outside bugs aren't trying to get in so much, we won't really have a problem. Sometimes in the summertime, because this is uh, such a loose structure, I do have, you know, more problems with this bin collecting pests than other bins. Um, but in the wintertime, it usually stays pretty, pretty clean. So let me move over my lasagna pieces here and see what the other side is doing. So this lasagna product or uh, project has been going on for a couple of years now, um, and because people like it, uh, I don't know if anybody else actually does a lasagna. Uh, I think AV just started his own lasagna, sort of. Uh, but if you do it at home, let me know. Put that in the comments below if you run any kind of bin that's kind of like this, where you just put in sheets of stuff and you don't shred your cardboard or paper or anything. Um, and let me know why you're running it that way. I mean, is it just because it's easy or are you doing it for some other reason like I was? So you can see that Amazon tape, that paper tape is breaking down. I know some people ask me. Um, it does break down completely. Even the string part will go down. Looks like they're getting into this avocado. So yeah, it kind of turns into paper and then the you know, the tape turns into like a goo and then next thing you know, it's it's entirely gone. Oops, need to get that sticker out of there cuz that will not. Why can't they make compostable you know, vegetable and fruit stickers? Seems easy peasy. Why did they not do that? It's not like the shelf life on these things is so long they need a sticker that's bulletproof. All right. Well, so if you're out there and you make stickers for fruit, you know, chime in. Why don't they do that? Okay, so we've got our layers here that are doing pretty good. 
Now let's get them some food and get them some new roommates. Okay, that's a lot of food. I'm not going to leave all of that in there, but I'm going to give them a good feeding because they haven't been fed in like a month. So, kiwis, tomatoes, etc. I don't know, got a bad batch of kiwis for some reason. Gonna put that down. Get all of that nasty food a good layer of cover first. Um, actually, I forgot the roommates. Let's put the roommates in. All right, so we probably got a quarter pound out of the blue. So I'll just put that down there on the side underneath. I don't want to put them directly on the new food. So we'll cover them back up and then make sure that food is covered up. Even though it's winter, it is kind of stinky, so it needs to have a good covering. Um, if you find this kind of uh, project interesting, I do have a playlist, which I can put right up here for you, so you can watch the lasagna bin from the beginning to the end. But if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button, and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.